Padres rookie Mackenzie Gore is coming off back to back rough starts after lighting the league on fire through his first nine outings. Adversity, though, nothing new for the 23 year old. And if history is any indicator, he will bounce back from the latest bump in the road even stronger. Here's Lauren Gardner with a closer look at the journey as Young Stars Week on MLB Network rolls on. He's the best pitching prospect in baseball. From a stuff and polish standpoint, I think he could hold his own in the big leagues. High school dominance never ensures professional stardom, but you wouldn't know it by McKenzie Gore's track record. After such an impressive high school career, there was little doubt the majors would come calling. With the third selection of the 2017 MLB draft, the San Diego Padres select McKenzie Gore. At the time he was drafted, Gore drew comparisons to Clayton Kershaw. I appreciate what people say when it's positive, but then I, I have very high expectations for myself, so really that's what I worry about. Entering 2020, MLB Pipeline crowned Gore the number one pitching prospect in the game. I love to compete and I love to win. After a developmental roadblock in 2020, Gore struggled with mechanics, making just 12 starts at four different levels in 2021. Put Mackenzie Gore in the rotation. I, I think he'd be able to survive that. I think it would be the best thing for his development. But it's funny how elite talent can suddenly brush everything else aside. Here's the one and two. Albies waits. The pitch from Gore swung on and missed strike three. Got him with an elevated fastball at 96 miles an hour. And Mackenzie Gore strikes out the first guy he ever sees in the big leagues. Gore burst on the scene with the Padres in mid-April, validating years of minor league hype. The 23-year-old joined a rotation already loaded with frontline starters. And now he's putting up some of the best numbers of the bunch. Mackenzie Gore continuing to learn and continuing to grow, working under Ruben Niebla and these veteran pitchers around him. The left-hander is already making history, too, becoming the only pitcher since ERA became a stat in 1913 to have 55-plus strikeouts and an ERA of 150 or lower over his first nine career appearances. The numbers are reflecting a great season for the young left-hander. That's 10 strikeout for Mackenzie Gore. First time that he's had 10 or more in his career. Good for him. His ceiling? Well, you don't really have to look beyond the number on his uniform. Gore was just absolutely studly. He just continues now. It just seems like every time he goes out, the confidence goes up, which makes him a more dangerous pitcher. 